Hey guys, welcome back to Field Notes. Uh, we are in the middle of January now, so that means we're about halfway through the Indigo Snake Survey season. And so we're about halfway done with our normal occupancy surveys as well as the eDNA surveys. And today I'm out on one of our eDNA survey sites. It's a really beautiful sand hill, and uh, I'm out changing batteries and SD cards and all our cameras. And so I'm out here, do, I do this about once a month, and uh, so I'm gonna go change those. And then tomorrow, we'll be back out here, and we're gonna do an actual survey, visual encounter survey, and we're gonna be collecting soil samples for eDNA testing. And so uh, my plan for this month's video is to take you out tomorrow uh, to show you how we're collecting uh, the eDNA samples and hopefully see some snakes along the way. And then uh, I'll show you what we've got so far off the cameras uh, from this site. Uh, we've documented quite a few indigos so far, which is really exciting, as well as other reptiles, uh, other mammals, birds. So not only is it super exciting that we're seeing a lot of indigo snakes, just because, I mean, that's cool in itself, but it's a lot of data points that we're getting. Uh, so when we compare our different survey methods against the eDNA sampling, um, we've got a lot of information there. Um, and it'll help us really uh, validate this survey method. So everything's going really well, uh, very few hiccups, and uh, hopefully we'll have a good day tomorrow. So we'll see. All right, so it is now the following morning and we are out on the occupancy survey, the visual encounter survey. And uh, you know, it was kind of rainy and cool last night. Um, but the clouds are breaking up and we're getting some blue sky, so we should be getting some sun. It's really good conditions here today. And so as soon as I come across um, some of our randomly selected burrows or our camera burrows, uh, I'll show you how we collect the soil samples for eDNA. Um, but until then, I'm going to put the camera down and keep surveying and I'll let you know when we find something cool. All right, so I'm at one of my burrows that has a camera mounted on it. You can see here, we got a game camera pointed at the mouth. And so what I'm going to be doing here is gloving up to reduce any sort of uh, potential contamination of soil samples. I do this for every time I collect soil. I've also got this vial right here. So this is what we're collecting the soil in. So essentially all I do is I take this vial and I run it across the top layer of substrate all the way across the mouth of the burrow. I do that until I have about 50 milliliters of sand. All right, so there you go. Uh, and that's all there is to it. And I just got to get this on ice at the end of the survey and uh, into a freezer uh, until we can get it to our collaborators to be analyzed for eDNA. And we also do the same thing under each of the buckets that hold the, the cameras on the drift fences. So just in the gap, go all the way across with the vial, fill it up just the same as we do on the burrows. And uh, we'll be able to compare these results with the camera trap results um, from the fence cameras. There we go. It really turned out to be a nice day today. Uh, when we first started, it was you know, mostly cloudy. Uh, sky was starting to clear up a bit, but man, we got full sun now. Um, it's a little cool still, but you know, pretty perfect conditions for indigos. So I'm hopeful. And just look at the habitat. This is really nice stuff. You know, a lot of open canopy, a lot of sun hitting the ground, a lot of really nice ground cover. And uh, we've got about 150, 175 tortoise burrows out here. So I'm hopeful. I think we might get something today. All right, so just check this burrow. Now, I don't see any obvious sign of snake activity, nothing recent. 
Um, however, right over here, I do have an old shed skin. And by looking at it, it appears to be, uh, the best that I can tell with the condition it's in, um, probably a young adult female. I don't see any of the uh, keels on the dorsal scales. Uh, the males have those wheat keels on the top three to five rows of scales. Uh, I don't see that, although it doesn't, also isn't a very large snake. Um, these ventral scales aren't that huge. So it's probably a female. It's, you know, four and a half, five feet long, um, but definitely hasn't been here recently. This is pretty old. Um, but still good information. It means uh, this, this site is occupied by indigo snakes. So, we had a snake track here, um, just very minimal one at the opening of this burrow. So I went ahead and took a soil sample, and uh, now we need to scope it to verify whether or not it was actually made by an indigo. So, there you go. looking indigo snake at the back of this burrow. Very cool. All right, so we just wrapped up the survey. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get anything more uh, than those, you know, shed skin fragments and then the, uh, the indigo snake that we scoped in the burrow. Um, you know, I thought it was going to be a really good day. The weather turned out really nice. Uh, however, that's the way it goes sometimes. And, uh, you know, we did what we could. And we'll be back out here again in a couple weeks. So hopefully we'll get some snakes in hand on that survey. And with that, I'm going to kind of wind this video down. And I'm going to leave you with a bunch of photos from our camera traps that are out here on the burrows and the fences. A uh, number of indigo snakes, some cool observations there, and a couple other cool um, photos of wildlife um, that we've caught on our camera. So hope you guys enjoy that and I'll see you next month.